Urban Therapy with Sun Sun Seven Five Two, and this is your daily go getemism number five hundred and thirty six for March twenty second, two thousand and sixteen. So tonight I'm gonna to talk about beggars and choosers. Beggars and choosers. Remember back in the day we used to be like, yo, beggars can't be choosers. In other words, you had to take what you could get. If you was in need and somebody had what you needed, you took what they what they gave you because you wasn't in the power position. You know, you was in a position to ask for something, but they was in the, in the position to either provide for you or say that they don't have it or they can't do it. So if they gave it to you, you had to be humble. You had to be humble. You had to be graceful. You had to, you know, take what they could get because you had nothing. They had something. And they are providing something for you, whether it's a favor, whether it's a gift, whether it's money, whatever, whatever it is. So, when they told us when we was younger that beggars can't be choosers, that was really right. That was really um, like good wisdom back then, because that let us know that like you humble yourself when you need something, and then you might you might just get it. But if you act like you know somebody owes you something, like you have these feelings of entitlement and all of that, ain't nobody gonna be really willing to help you out, or they're not gonna give you everything that they could give you. They're gonna hold back a little bit because you don't you're not acting like you appreciate anything. You're not acting like you know, well, you're acting like you deserve it, but you're not showing that you deserve anything. So, nowadays, nowadays with these, it seems like, I'm, I'm not going to blame it on this generation because there are other people who are older who act like they have something coming to them. You know, like they done worked for something, like they collecting a pension or something like that. They running around here like, you know, like they deserve to get something from you. So they're taken but never given. Or maybe they gave a long time ago and now they feel like it's their chance to collect. But y'all know it don't really work that way. It's not like a bank where you put in a lot of money and um, and you can go and collect from whatever you, you, you have saved up. If you, if you make a withdrawal of all your funds, you can't go back and be like, yo, y'all were supposed to have replenished some of the money that I took out. It don't work that way. The way the world works, you know, the way the real world works is that you know, you have to save your pennies. You have to, you know, provide for yourself. You got to work or you don't eat. You know, you can't just find somebody else that's eating and expect to eat off of them. <laughs> or find somebody else that, that, that has a whole supermarket and you just going to go shopping. It don't work that way. You get, you take out what you put in. And sometimes if people like you enough, they love you enough, they feel good about you, they believe in you enough that they allow you to withdraw, you know, with hopes that you will succeed and one day pay back. Or if you don't pay back, it, maybe they're not even expecting a payback, but you were so decent that they felt like, yo, you, you got that. I'm just willing and happy to be able to be in a position to be able to help you. But rock out, do your thing. So there's no sense of entitlement, man. You know, you know, ain't it? Look, if you feel like somebody should just give you something and you don't give anything back, or you don't provide anything, but they provide for you. The only situations that I know of like that, where that's acceptable, is a sugar daddy situation or a sugar mama situation. That's it. No other situations embrace that. They don't warrant that. They're not going to cater to that. So if you want something from somebody, you got to act right. You got to fix your face, <laughs> number one. You know, you go in and ask somebody for something, you go in like, well, no, I kind of need this thing. And if you could give it to me, that would be nice because I'm in a real bad jam. Or, or. If you if you truly truly are in a jam and you don't see no way out, then you got to get this face. Listen, man. Listen, I know you know me and you done had our differences. We didn't had our problems, but listen, I'm really caught up right now. I'm in a bad spot. I'm in a tough spot, yo. Seriously, man. I, listen, if you don't help me out with this thing, I don't know what I'm gonna do, son. I don't know what I'm gonna do, and I need you to help me out. So, you know, if you get, I don't, I don't care what you got, $5, $10, whatever. I don't have nowhere to stay tonight, man. I ain't got put out, you know. You know, I'm, on, I'm out here on the street. Man. I'm, 
look, I'm dead pop, son. I'm dead pop, man. You know, if you could just do this one thing for me, if you could just do this one thing for me, son, I'd be, listen, man, I'd be eternally grateful, man. I'm going to pay you back as soon as I get a chance, son. You know, as soon as I get back on my feet, I got you. But can you do this for me? Son, I need you to do this for me, son. Come on, man. Seriously, son, come on, man. Come on, man. You know, I, you know, I don't be, I don't be begging like this. But if you can, listen, listen, man. I don't have nobody else. I don't have nothing, son. Yo, I just came home, son. Come on, man. Sometimes you gotta do that shit. It's fucked up, but sometimes that's how you gotta be. If you in a position where you know somebody don't want to do something for you, and you need something for them, you might have to do that shit. Because you got to pull at their heartstrings a little bit. But when they decide to give it to you, you don't be like, this is so you, come on, man, I need you to do this for me. You know what I'm saying? This is, you know, anything you get, anything you can give me, you know, I take it. And then they take out a hundred. No, they take, they take out um, a $20 bill. You're like, no, sir, I need a hundred. I need a hundred. Keep that 20. I need a hundred. Now you done fucked up. <laughs> no, he gave you the 20. After that performance, if he gave you the 20, he, that's all he got. Come on, somebody, you just give me 50. Just, just give me 50, son. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours, and remember. Yo, me, sometimes you got to put your pride aside. And you got to start acting like, like somebody owe you something, man. You know, sometimes you just got yo. Dang. Say, man. So oh. I'll let y'all tomorrow, man. <laughs> I'll let y'all tomorrow. Yo, don't forget about the Urban Therapy with Sun Show tomorrow night, Wednesday. Wednesday night, 8.30 p.m., Eastern Standard Time. Call in number 347-677-1533. Tomorrow night, we're going to be talking about the opposite of this face. We're going to be talking about this face. Showing no emotion. Can't read them. You know, when, when somebody gets to the point where you can't see what they're thinking, you don't see a window to their soul, you know, they're basically emotionless, like anything goes, anything matters. How do you deal with somebody that's in that position? That's what we're going to be talking about tomorrow night on the Urban Therapy with Sun Show. So y'all want to come through and holler at that. And we're going to be talking about all the emotions that people will not show. We're not talking about being poker face necessarily. We're talking about being emotionally drained. All right? So make sure y'all check that out tomorrow night. All right? I'll holler. My right back better, you guys. Spring cleaning event.